today you'll notice there is one guest who you have already seen on my channel and a completely new guest. This is my Nana Mavis. She is all the way over here from England. Say hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and you all know my mum who has been on my channel before. Say hi mum. Hi. Hello. And I'm Alice. You know me. Anyway, so because my whole family is very talented artists, um, I thought that it would be fun if we all did a drawing together, so this is going to be a speed drawing video that we're all going to be participating in, but I thought that I would introduce you to everyone that's going to be in the video and who's going to be making the art. So, um, I am going to be doing the drawing and then I'm going to be painting the figure and then I'm probably going to use like watercolors and stuff. No, no, what kind of like... What kind of like mediums are you excited you're gonna use in the picture? Well, I like um, colored pencils. Colored pencils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's good at colored pencils, and she's gonna be doing like this like fantastical, whimsical little like dream thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> and mom, what are you gonna be doing? Uh, I'm gonna be doing the watercolor background, and I think I'm gonna do some probably some texturing in there, which yeah. would be interesting. Maybe some brusho. I don't know, yeah, as well yeah. as what <laughs> So I'm excited, it's going to be a lot of fun. I will make sure to write um, who is going to be, who is currently drawing in the corner so y'all can see. And we are each going to be doing our own voiceovers as well. So I hope that you're excited about this um, three generation collaboration. Yay! Ah, it Yay! And <laughs> without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, well hi, it is Alice and I am starting off this video with the sketch for this piece and I had to come up with an idea that like we could all participate in so I had this idea of like a girl and she's daydreaming and I thought I would draw like a little dream cloud and then my Nana could kind of use her imagination to fill in that dream cloud and my mom could do whatever she wanted in the background and then I would do the figure. So that was kind of my idea for the picture like where, where we started with the picture just because I thought that would give everyone like a lot of creative freedom um, and would just be something that was fun to do that showcased each of our individual talents. So yeah. Um, I'm just doing the sketch right now, and um, I don't know too much about what to say about like the sketch, but I do go ahead and do this in watercolors later on, so uh, after this I will be bowing out for a little bit, and you will hear from my Nana and my mum as they work on their parts of the picture, and I will be back at the end to work on my watercolor. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was filmed over Christmas. It is now March. Um, editing it has been a giant pain in the but so yeah I really hope you like it because I have spent an extortionately way too long on the editing of this video like it is ridiculous how many issues I've had um, so that's one of the reasons it's so late coming but uh, my Nana was visiting us from England and she joined and yeah I just thought it'd be really fun my Nana is a very very talented artist um, my mom is too and I feel really lucky that I came from a family of artists where we were all really supported and we actually wanted my sister to take part in this as well because um, while she isn't like studying to be an artist she is a very good artist as well especially with pastels um, but unfortunately she actually had to leave to go back uh, to Colorado Springs before we filmed this video so that was that was sad I was sad she couldn't be part of it but hopefully I can include her in a different video in the future but yeah uh, I think growing up in a family of artists, I mean, my dad makes art too, I and mean, he hasn't in ages, but he used to be a really good oil painter. I guess he still probably is a good oil painter, he just hasn't painted in a while. And I think growing up in a family of artists, it's just really nice having that support. Like, art was something I always did. It wasn't something that was weird or special. It was just like, this is what you do. You make art, and art was fun. And I think that's one of the reasons that I'm still making art today. So I'm really thankful for that, and I'm really excited to get to share with you guys my creative family. So yeah, the sketch is pretty much done. I lined it with a fine liner. I don't know which kind. I think Copic maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. I'll find out and write it down. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much else to say, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to my Nana Mavis, who will be going next. I hope you guys enjoy. Hi. Well, I'm Alice's grandma, or Nana as she calls me, and I'm also Linda's mum. Now, I'm from England, and my favourite medium so far is coloured pencil work. As you can see, I'm not awfully good at it, but I like to do kind of weird and wonderful crazy figures instead of the straight stuff. But this was seemed to be a fun thing to do, so I decided to go ahead and have a go. 
as you can see I'm just mapping out very lightly in coloured pencil just my basic thoughts now I'd say a little bit about what uh, guided me to do this kind of idea is that Alice had drawn the figure of the girl and what she's possibly thinking and it reminded me of a little poem I made or did rather when I was a young girl and it was about um, a princess in a tower and she was dreaming about the postman coming and sending her an invitation or giving her an invitation to a party or to a ball or, or whatever she desired in other words so she's thinking about this and uh, she's dreaming away in her tower and then out of the window she sees this little post post guy come along with his cart and all this stuff and in the poem uh, what happens is she receives this little letter and what it is it's an invitation from the fairies to go to a ball and she's just overjoyed with that so I think that's the, bar the basis of the story so what I did I'm just uh, going over with sort of colored pencil over some ink I think I've put a few little bit of ink lines in here or there to emphasize the shapes although I'm not awfully good with um, architecture as such as I say I much prefer to do fantastic figures and kind of weird things and stuff like that so I'm just inking in just to emphasize a few of these parts here and there now on the left you can see in my imagine she's got a little vegetable patch there with some cabbages growing and um, he's just walking along a path and she's about looking out of the window and ready to greet him and saying what have you got for me today Mr Postman and of course he's got the long awaited letter for her so I think her dreams are going to come true so what I'm using here is um, some of the uh, Prismacolor Scholar uh, pencil not watercolour ones I do like the Derwent watercolour ones but I particularly prefer the Derwent ink tents because they're very intense in colour and you only need a little bit on the paper and as soon as you touch them with water the colour just flows beautifully so that's what I prefer and um, I don't get on too very well with actual watercolour paints they're a little bit too exacting for me now Linda's an expert in this so she can go ahead with all of that we did have a lot of fun doing this picture and particularly I had to laugh at Linda dipping her brush into the candle <laughs> instead of the water at the end. But as you can see her results uh, at the end of the picture with a spattering of little speckles in the sky and a beautiful fused effects of the dark coloured trees in the watercolour really make the picture come alive. So I guess that's about all I've got to say about my little bit but it was a great deal of fun. Hi, I'm Linda, Alice's mum. Um, I decided to try and mask off some of the existing work by cutting out pieces of ordinary uh, photocopy paper to prevent the splatter that I was going to use getting on it later on. Um, it kind of worked. I stuck it down with tiny little dots of masking fluid that I didn't think would damage the existing work. In actual fact, it did when I took it off a little bit. Um, now I'm wetting the paper and I'm putting masking fluid on wet paper which gives a very very soft edge, it takes a long while to dry. Um, I'm actually using a Real Techniques um, silicon eyeliner brush here which works just as well as one of the proper silicon brushes that you can get for masking fluid. Um, once the masking fluid was dry I took the paper off and then re-wetted all around the edges um, and I decided to use some May Mary paints in this because they're very bright colours but later on I did change to Dan Smith because I didn't have quite all the colours I wanted and I decided to do a kind of a forest at twilight scene so I'm using some wet and wet techniques to put on the distant pine trees and just trying to get that kind of mackerel st striped sky that you get at dusk um, waited till the paint was dry a little bit and then I'm just adding some more details to the trees it's a very loose effect um, just dotting the brush down using different colors of greens putting in a, a few little brown stems um, and then just drying it off and I think I dried it off with a hair dryer at one point now I'm trying to scrub out the masking fluid just by using an eraser and you can see where the cloud is on the top left um, and the bottom, what kind of soft edge you get when you use masking fluid on wet paper. 
Um, and then I decided to make it fall time. So I put on, I added some fall colors and then I added something called brusho. And I don't know if you've heard of that, but it's a, it's a pigment crystal um, that you can just sprinkle on your paper and then spray with water. And very, very bold, bright colors. It's very interesting stuff to work with. Um, you can also bleach it out with household bleach, um, which gives an interesting effect. Then I just added some silver just to tidy up. Um, and I think I also added some gold paint into those fall trees. And that's the bit I did to the picture, the background, and I hope you like it. Alright guys, so I am back. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my mom and Nana and see what they seeing what they did. And I thought it was really, really cool uh, the way they chose to go about things. And I think my Nana did a really, really cool job with um, coming up with a story with the postman coming to the castle. And yeah, uh, I really liked it. And it worked out well because I kind of did end up having her be like more of a princess. So yeah, uh, I am going ahead and watercoloring in the figure right now and a couple of things first of all I am using my Dan Smith watercolor paints um, I got some for Christmas and I put them in this little box that I made myself and I'm really happy with it so yeah it was fun to use um, and then I am using for the most part um, my black velvet brushes and yeah that's kind of all about my <laughs> materials and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the painting so I had a couple tricky things that I had to deal with with this painting. The first is that my mom, in her infinite wisdom, <laughs> decided to use masking fluid to create sort of a resist. And the masking fluid actually ripped up the paper in a couple places. So that was really, really hard for me to deal with because paint reacts differently to torn paper. So yeah, there was that. And then what was even harder than that was the fact that my mother apparently doesn't know how to color into the lines. If we look at my grandma, she just painted nice and neat in the lights and, and didn't cause any trouble. And my mom, she like dipped her paintbrush in candle wax and she knocked over the camera like 10 times and she painted the figure green. I just, mom, what you doing? What you doing with your life? I'm just kidding, I love you, mom. <laughs> um, but so that was definitely a challenge for me because her arms were green so i kind of had to do like a little bit of an overlay or like a translucent sleeve um is kind of the way that i decided to approach that by giving her a translucent sleeve i also ended up and going and adding like some mist kind of like effect with um white paint towards the end as well to help cover that up and i don't know how i feel about the mist paint like effect um but you know it's all right um it didn't it didn't turn out badly so yeah, that's kind of some of the struggles that I faced. Um, as far as color choice, I chose blues and greens to tie in with the rich colors that my mom used in the background because she used these really beautiful blues, dark blues and greens um, that are from her brush oak kit, which is like this type of loose pigment and you put it on water and it, it does really cool things as you saw. Um, and so I really wanted to play off those, but I didn't want her to be so saturated and so like colorful that it drew attention away from the background or competed with the background so I went with darker and um, more desaturated like kind of gemstone versions of that of those colors and I gave her like teal hair which was fun um, I really enjoyed painting her braid that was probably my favorite part I really had a lot of fun painting the braid so that was that was a blast um I also went ahead and added some white uh, like a white border, the thought bubbles, just to kind of make them pop a little bit more and give them more definition against the background because again, my mom can't be in the lines. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I was really happy with this and it's really cool to add it and say, like me and my mom and my grandmother all painted that. It was just, it was such a fun piece to work on and I'm really happy that we did it. So yeah, I hope that you guys like this video and think this is kind of a fun thing to do. I thought it was pretty creative and I don't think I've seen this on YouTube yet. So uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys. <laughs>